And welcome to your Gold Live Market Update for the 26th of April 2022. For those of you based in Australia, hope you had a great long weekend. Mike Smith here, Senior Analyst for Gold Markets. And let's have a look at what's come across the news. Uh, last night, of course, US markets recovered their early losses and the test of the support from March's lows to finish in positive territory across the board. Looks as though there's just some buying on perhaps perceived value and of course we get earnings ramping up this week. So however, the US futures aren't following through on that really. They're trading within a tight range since the Asian Open. Uh, just to round about neutral as we're recording this, and Asian markets are mixed and really this is because the ASX is playing a little catch up because of course it was closed yesterday when markets were very much in the red. So we're seeing the ASX down a little under 2%, although that's off the lows slightly. Uh, other markets are higher, including the Nikkei. We're expecting the European markets to open mildly higher at this stage, although that can obviously change in the next few hours. Uh, the US dollar index edged higher again to new 14-month highs yesterday. It is slightly weaker in Asia at the start of today. We also, as a result, saw gold weak, and that dropped back to 1900, another key psychological level. Copper and oil were both weaker, but copper and oil were both weaker, but held key technical support. Oil is still trading around that hundred dollars a barrel level if you look at the Brent contract, and the VIX has pulled back a little from the monthly highs it hit yesterday. Bitcoin was also under a little bit of pressure yesterday, but seems to have held its thirty-nine thousand short-term support. We'll check in on that, and of course, it is a big U.S. earnings day today including 3M, General Motors, Visa, Pepsi, Google, Microsoft, to name but a few. Just if you are trading the NDX CFD futures contract, just be aware that, that we may see a fairly significant movement after the bell as Google and Microsoft numbers come across the wires before the futures market closes. On the data front, Japanese job speed expectations earlier this morning. We've got US durable goods, housing, consumer confidence numbers out later, but it's going to be earnings that drive markets today, we would suggest. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts. Um, we'll just put a very short term uh, NASDAQ 100 chart on. You can see there a rounded bottom formation seems to have just got stuck a little bit. Interesting to see if we just get a push through at that level at around about 13,540. It could be a move up around about 100 points in the first instance if we get some buying momentum there. Much of this early buying could be short covering because of course this has been the picture over the last few days. There is that March support which got close to testing and so we're not expecting any great guns going forward but this rejection candle that we saw there could be technically important going forward. Uh, we also on the ASX we like grain corp still. You can see there that despite everything that's going on, there is undoubted long-term belief that soft commodities are still going to be strong. We can see this now pushing in today's session above previous day's close. That's Friday's close, you see it there. So the fact that this is moving higher in a market which is down almost 2% is very bullish for this stock and it is trading towards the higher the session at this stage. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.